going on, going thing. Okay, now we come to the scene number four, which is Ali's house. The setting of the scene number four is Ali's house. Middle distance shot of Ali and his sister Zara reading their textbooks kneeling on the mattress. A baby's cry is heard faintly on the soundtrack. The camera closes in on Zara who is writing in a notebook, mumbling the words as she writes. Ali, how am I going to school without shoes? The camera moves back to middle distance. Now both Zara and Ali are in the frame. Their parents' conversation on the other end of the room is heard on the soundtrack, inter interspersed with the sound of a hammer banging. So, in this uh, scene number four, we can see Ali and Zara sitting there on a mattress and doing their homeworks. Zara is writing something on the notebook and she is talking in a, in a, in a light voice. Or she is uh, mumbling the words, Ali, how am I going to school without shoes? and what can we understand from this because these two children ali and zara they are hiding the fact that shoes are lost because they knows because they know about the condition of the family and ali was very afraid that his father may beat him for losing the shoes so he uh, requests Zara not to tell about this to their father and Zara is also in a, a panic situation because she doesn't know how she is going to school without shoes because it's a part of their uniform and without shoes she cannot go to school but she did not ask it openly uh, for the fear of their father uh, will hear it and also you can hear in the soundtrack the conversation between the father and mother of Ali and uh, this scene at first you cannot see them you can only hear the sound of Ali's father and mother and also Ali's brother or sister we can hear the sound of an infant in the soundtrack that means there are more children in the family and the, there is a there is an infant in the family mother go to your company store tomorrow we don't have any formula left so the infant or the little child is crying because it it did not get its food and uh, the mother reminds the father that they are running short of formula formula means baby food so they don't have any food for the baby uh, so you he she tells him to go to the uh, company store and buy some formula or baby food mother go to your company store tomorrow we don't have any formula left Zara passes her notebook to Ali. Father off screen, don't worry. Father off screen. Off screen means is not shown at the screen. We can only hear uh, the sound of these uh, characters. Rahimaka's wife had a slipped disc surgery, made it worse. Alternative close up of Ali and Zara listening to their parents' conversation and looking at each other. So, actually, the conversation between Ali's father and mother is about what to do with uh, uh, her condition, the condition of uh, Ali's mother, because she is bedridden and she cannot go for any work. So, the father is uh, doing everything for the family because she is suffering from uh, some disc problems and therefore she is always lying there on the bed 
and uh, she also feels very bad about it if she can also work then the burden will be reduced to meet the expenses of the family members and she feels a kind of helpless uh, feeling because she is bedridden and she cannot help uh, the family she cannot go for any work so she wants her husband to uh, take her to a hospital and do some surgery so that she can also uh, overcome this disc problem and go for some work and support the family cut to middle distance shot of mother lying on a bed towards the left of the frame leaning back against two propped up pillows father is sitting on a chair beyond the bed near the wall chopping wooden flints with a hammer on a block behind him are two ledges on which are seen some vessels and clothes so now uh, the scene slowly moves to the scene where we can see ali's father and mother mother is a patient and she is lying there on the bed leaning on some propped pillows and they were talking about uh, the father was uh, doing some work from home he was cutting uh, or chopping wooden flints with some hammer he is doing that work from home and when he is doing the work there is a conversation between him and his wife and uh, the mother of the family wants to get rid of this problem and to go for some work and support the family. The father, uh, who is also uh, very poor, father on the other hand, he wants to discourage a surgery for her because, uh, not because uh, he is not hopeful about it, but because he does not have any money to pay for the surgery. So he makes some uh, justifications and he just lies to her that it is of no use. Surgery will not be useful for you. If we do surgery, the things will become more problematic for you. So he finds some excuse for not doing the surgery by saying that uh, this surgery will not help you to uh, recover uh, your disc problems live with this uh, body pain the back pain or the disc problem because uh, the truth is that he did not have any money for paying the for the he did not have any money for paying the doctor for doing the surgery close up of ali reading from the book zara has passed on to him mother off screen what do you want me to do do nothing all day the mother asks, what do you want me to do? Doing nothing. Now, she also feels a prick of conscience because she is not uh, doing any work. Uh, because of uh, the disc problems, actually, she cannot do any work. So, she is asking uh, her husband if uh, this is enough for her to uh, lay there on the bed all day or going for some work. Ali starts writing in the notebook, Father, well, the doctor has forbidden work. Ali writes, you can go to school with slippers. And when this conversation between the father and the mother is going on, there is also a conversation between Ali and Zara. But those are not the actual words, but they communicate by writing in their notebooks and passing one to another. So, the discussion between the father and the mother is about whether they should do a surgery or not for the mother. Uh, the discussion between the father and the mother is whether they need a surgery or not. But, and the discussion between the two children, Ali and Zara, is about how to solve this issue. How to... Uh, hide uh, the fact that they have lost the shoes or how to adjust uh, with one shoe was the matter of discussion between the two children and uh, Zara sometimes frightens Ali saying that she would tell the truth to the father then Ali tells her request her not to tell it because if she tells 
their father would beat them their father would beat him father well the doctor has forbidden work ali writes you can go to school with slippers mumbling the words as he writes and passes the notebook to zara close up of the notebook so ali writes uh, you can use the slippers mother kokap kanum sister had surgery and she is fine cut to close up of zara taking notebook and reading what ali has written it so the mother gives the example of some some woman who was having the same problem and her problem was solved after the surgery and uh, at the same time the children were discussing about how to adjust without the shoes father don't ever think about surgery alternative close up of sara and ali looking at each other father off screen i don't want you to become crippled crippled means uh physically deformed not able to walk or do anything so he th- he says that if the surgery is done then it will become more uh difficult for her to do anything or do any any work father i don't want you to become crippled cut to close up of sara writing in the notebook mumbling as she writes Ali you have some nerve you lost my shoes i will tell dad quick close up of ali looking at zara she passes the notebook to ali close up of the notebook so now zara tells uh, ali that she is going to tell the fact that they have lost the shoes because she had she has no other options she cannot go to school without shoes uh their teacher will not allow her to sit in the class or come inside the class without shoes two close up of father walking on the other end of the room looking at the camera interspersed with the close up of ali and zara and a middle range shot showing them ali writes in the notebook and pass to zara zara reads what ali has written in the notebook in a whisper Zara if you tell dad he will beat both of us because he doesn't have money to buy you a pair of shoes so the boy ali he knows very well about the financial condition of the family and he wants her that if she tells this fact to their father the father will beat them because he doesn't have money to buy a pair of new shoes Zara writes then what should i do in the notebook and passes to Ali 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 writes you can wear my sneakers and passes the notebook back so at last the two children they come to an agreement that Zara can wear Ali's sneakers sneakers is a type of shoes Zara writes i will wear them when you are back from the school so uh the the condition was that ali will give his sneakers uh, to zara after his class in the morning and then zara can collect it and go to school with those sneakers i will wear them when you are back from the school during the passing of the notebook back and forth only the notebook in close up and hands are visible in the frame so the communication between the two children goes on and the camera is now showing close up shot of the book so the book and the hand the exchanging notebooks can be seen in that last or the fourth scene uh, of the film close up of zara writing the stub of her pencil breaks uh, ali puts his pencil on the notebook for her to write zara does not take the pencil close up of pencil lying on the bench so at the end of the last scene you can see zara is writing with her pencil and the stub of her pencil is broken then ali gives his pencil and she did not take that pencil which is a symbolic representation of uh, what actually happened in the story uh, like uh, zara lost her shoes then ali tries to give 
his shoes to her and she was not ready to accept it so it's a kind of a uh, symbolic representation of what actually happens in the story so with that we come to the end of the scene number four let us recollect it once again what happens in scene number four the scene number four is set in ali's house and we can see ali and zara sitting there and doing their homeworks and it looks like they are doing the homeworks but they were not actually doing the homework but because uh, but they were doing some kind of a discussion and then later uh, at the beginning we can hear the conversation of the father and mother and from their conversation we can understand the pathetic condition of the family the family is very poor and they don't have money to buy food for their child and the father is doing some work the mother is helpless and cannot do any work because of a faulty disc and therefore the mother feels very bad that she cannot contribute anything to the family and she wants wants to have a an immediate surgery so that she can also do something and uh, help the family but the father who, who cannot afford the expense of the surgery he makes a lame excuse and says that such surgery will make the things even uh, worse will not help her and uh, we can see Ali and Zara just acting like doing their homework but actually they are discussing what to do because they have lost the shoes so uh, Zara writes something in his in her notebook and passes that to Ali and she asked what will I do without shoes how can I go to school and for that Ali replies that he can uh, she can use the slippers and then uh, uh, again he suggests that he can use she can use his sneakers and uh, uh, Zara agrees to use his sneakers because they don't want to uh, tell this fact to their father because uh, he cannot afford a new pair of shoes he cannot he is very poor and cannot buy a new pair of shoes so the children understanding the family yeah the the poor condition of the family just to decides to adjust with what they have so the film goes on even after this and we we can see uh, the problems that zara faced when she uh, goes to school with ali's sneakers and also how ali used to run all the way from his school to reach in time and give his shoes to his sister and that creates a lot of problems the actual theme of the film is the poverty of the family so we have got only a small section from that and uh, we have these uh, four scenes from the story uh, from the film so uh, you have to go through this class uh, read the textbook i will give you a link to the film the original film clip at the end of this video so you watch the uh, watch that video uh, after my class and then you will understand the whole lesson so thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to our channel because we are coming with more and more classes for you so stay tuned and have a nice day thank you